week 13, day four, I believe. Oh, I still have my work shirt, obviously. I'm on the road back to Greenville right now. And uh, I'll just change once I get to the gym. I'm just gonna head straight to the gym. No point in going home once I get back. You know what I mean? Just change when I get there. I'll take it from there. Um, so week 13, day four, shoulders and a swim. So I mentioned the, earlier this week that, you know, the swim I did at the hotel pool, I mean, it's good to get in the water and just kind of get wet basically, but it wasn't, you know, it's not sufficient for a, an Ironman training day, you know? so. So we're not gonna count that as a Ironman training day. We're just gonna kinda count that as a basically cool down, I guess. And this will be like the swim for the week, where it's my Ironman training swim. And then uh, obviously shoulders, which hitting shoulders right before swim, probably isn't the smartest thing to do. I, I think it'll just make the swim a bit tougher, but there's nothing wrong with that. I'd rather make the swim tougher than easier, you know? Um, yeah, that's really all we got for today. I, uh, I've been trying to post videos just about every day. I, over the weekend, I didn't quite get as many up as I had hoped. I had a couple days that I missed just because I was with friends, but actually speaking of, the other day I got a bunch of notifications on my phone, like YouTube notifications, and it was like someone commented on your video. I was like, oh, sick. Like, people are actually watching these videos. Like, absolutely stoked, you know? And it was like four or five of them back to back. And I was like, oh my gosh, like something's happening. And so I went and looked and I opened it up and it was all just one of my friends from back home. It was all just Macy, like talking shit about every single video. Like I was benching and she was like, you look small right now or something like that. Or like, and then in another, she was like, you look like you don't know how to swim. So it went from like ecstatic, like holy shit, people are commenting on my videos to just like my friends talking shit back home. So, yeah, that's kind of tough. But at least people are commenting. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess that's a win. Oh, shit. Um, I think that's really all we got for you this morning or this afternoon. Um, also, I think I will walk through the shoulder warm up today as well. I haven't done that yet, but the shoulder is one of those things that. I like to warm them up really well just because if anything gets injured for me, it's my shoulders and knees. So I try and make sure that I warm those up pretty good. So I'll walk you through the warm up as well for shoulders. But uh, yeah, we'll see you in there. All right. So as I said, I will go over the warm up real quick. Um, this is just the shoulder warm up. Get on the paper machine. I'll hit this for each arm and turn around, hit it on the back side for each arm. Uh, pretty straightforward you'll see people doing this a lot with dumbbells which i don't understand one bit um this one maybe with dumbbells i guess that hits shoulders a little, a little bit but when you're just standing straight up and your arms in front of you you're going to the sides that dumbbell puts pressure downwards so you're basically just working your bicep you're not really hitting your shoulders very much whereas if you get on this cable machine or with this resistance band either or um you get that resistance against your shoulder and you kind of work that rotator cuff much more than than with a dumbbell. So if you're warm up the shoulders, I would definitely use the that cable machine. All right, talking too much. First set, excuse me. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> First set, I got the 70s out for this. Uh, I'm going for sets of 10. I believe we did four sets here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I superset this, you'll see in a second, with the shoulder press and then down to shrugs. And once again, I always make the weirdest fucking faces whenever I do shrugs. I feel like... I feel like you can't help it, you know? It's, and I feel like I'm really trying not to right here. Really try, trying not to make any faces doing the shrugs, but you just can't help it. Um, this is, I believe, the third set. I think I have one more after this. Uh, but you can see the set of 10 actually felt really good. I struggled a little bit here. Biggest thing here is to get those elbows down and hit that 90 degree angle um, to really get the, the shoulders fully stretched out or as much as you can, at least with this movement. And we move on to the shrugs again. I, I'm also going to start working in like the Arnold press, which is where you bring the dumbbells all the way down to your chest and then all the way up above your head. So it's kind of, um, you know, a longer movement than just the straight dumbbell press, dumbbell shoulder press. All right, moving on to the rear delts. Uh, we've got face pulls. And watching this, I actually realized that I'm doing these a little bit wrong. I'm pulling myself up 
you can see there's movement going upwards right there. Um, you shouldn't be doing that. Your body should be staying completely, completely still, and you should just be pulling that weight to your face. You shouldn't, your body shouldn't be moving at all. Um, and then here we've got the side raises. I'll switch off between which one I like better, the cable or the, just the dumbbell. They're both absolutely amazing. You can't go long, wrong with lateral raises. Um, this will get that, shoot, where's that side delt? Is it medial delt is the technical name for it? I forget. We'll get that side delt absolutely pumped. And we're gonna finish off with some front raises just with the dumbbells. Try to keep it slow and control all the way down, even more so than I'm doing there. But yeah, that's what we got for shoulder day today. All right, shoulder day is complete. Um, we didn't get in the pool because there's a swim team in there right now and they're taking up all the lanes and I'm not about to hop in with the swim team. They would embarrass me. So I don't know what it is about getting a swim in that's so impossibly difficult, but this week has just been a bitch and a half. So um, tomorrow is gonna be a long bike and a long run. So I'm thinking Saturday, what's Saturday gonna be? Saturday will be chest. I think I'll just do a swim with chest because I need to get a good swim in this week. And that fucking hotel swim is not gonna cut it. So we just keep bumping it back over and over again, but we'll get in the pool eventually. We'll get something done. Um, but shoulder day, shoulder day felt really solid. Uh, I think I need to bump it up on those, the dumbbell shoulder press. The sets of 10 with 70s felt fairly light today. So start bumping it up to 75 or 80 for, you know, six to eight. That's really it, I think. Um, it's funny, I've started ending every video with that whole, like, better today than we were yesterday, and you know what I mean, better tomorrow than we are today. It, it sounds cheesy as fuck, but I started doing that because when, when I was hiking the Appalachian Trail, I was hiking with this guy named King, or that was his trail name at least. And um, we had this thing where every night when we were in the tents and we were going to bed, right, one of us would yell out from our tent, today was a good day. And the other one would reply with, no, today was a great day. And it's like, even if you had the shittiest day of all time, you know, even if it was like, like we hiked in the rain, we were soaking wet, it was miserable, like up and down mountains, no views, just the worst fucking day. You want to beat your head against a fucking rock, you know, because you have some horrible days when you're hiking that trail. So it's like, even if you had the worst fucking day and you just felt like fucking like, dying you know we ended every day with today was a great day no or today was a good day no today was a great day and it didn't matter who said what just one person would call it out from their tent and the other person would have to respond with you know no today was a great day and I feel like it's just you know trying to stay in that positive mindset of you know no matter what the fuck happened today was a good day like we were living in the woods we had no worries other than where we we're gonna eat and sleep you know um, it may have gotten shitty at times, but at the end of the day, it was a good fucking day, you know? And I feel like, like kind of ending every video with better today than I was yesterday just helps with a mindset the same way, you know, where it's like, you know, some days you don't get the workout in you wanted to. Like today I didn't get in the pool and, you know, it can be easy to be disappointed about that and go home feeling like not accomplished and feeling like, like you didn't do enough or whatever. But if you made it to the gym or you don't even have to take the gym out of it you know what I mean you don't even have to use this for the gym just something if you progressed in one way or another you know you're better today than you were yesterday and I mean if you just do that every day just a little bit every day you know you look up a couple of years from now it's like damn big guy fucking hell man. <sighs> talking about having a good day I almost just getting gotten a fucking car wreck holy shit he was moving <laughs> That would have been that would have been the funniest fucking video though if I'm talking about what a good day it is and then just boof. <laughs> oh shit, that's really not that funny. Ugh. But yeah, so I'm gonna keep ending every video with that. Today was a good day, or I'm sorry, you know, better today than I was yesterday. Um, you know, and kind of think about King and, and keeping that mindset when we were living in the woods of today was a good day but today we got better. So, better today than we were yesterday. We'll be better tomorrow than we are today. Good shit, team.